<laughs> oh my god, I know Mrs. Harrison said to wear ugly sweaters, but seeing hers actually light up was just incredible. Chef's kiss. Yeah, it's a true Christmas miracle it didn't catch on fire or something. <laughs> oh, and what about those reindeer antlers on Tyler's car? They used to be such a scrooge at Christmas, and now look at them. <laughs> Speaking of days of yore, how's your hot cocoa, by the way? Did I get the marshmallow to cocoa ratio correct? What do you mean, what do I mean? You always used to have more marshmallows than cocoa in your mug when we were growing up. My mom used to have to literally hide the bag whenever you came over. Yeah, or else we wouldn't have had any left for ourselves. Uh, I'm not lying! It's Christmas, and you don't lie at Christmas, or whatever. That's how you end up with lumps of coal in your stocking, bud. At least we don't have to hide the fact that we spiked it anymore. <laughs> oh my god, I thought Chris's mom was going to kill us that time she caught us pouring bourbon into our hot chocolates at that Christmas party. Do you remember? <laughs> she was so mad. Oh, speaking of Chris, did I tell you I ran into him at the grocery store last night? Yeah, I didn't realize he'd moved back to town. Well, apparently he and his partner decided that they wanted to settle down here and start a family. And he had, like, a small brood with him, so I'd say he was pretty successful in that regard. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. He used to be such a party animal, so it was, like, interesting to see Chris the family man. But, you know, I'm happy for him. Still, it's wild to me that we're old enough to be married and have kids and careers and mortgages. Ew. <laughs> well, other people are. We're not married yet to anyone. Um, it's so weird. We're so old. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago we were sneaking out past curfew and hanging out at that old abandoned house in the woods drinking cheap beer. Well, you drank cheap beer. I was much classier and snuck cheap vodka in water bottles. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it's been so long since we've hung out. We used to always hang out after these Christmas parties after our parents went to bed. Yeah, I know, we've both been pretty busy. But it's nice, right? Us hanging out again? I did miss you, you know. I'm sorry I'm terrible at keeping in touch. I just... I don't know. Life happened, I guess. University took us to opposite sides of the country, and then we started working, and it's been super busy for both of us. Like... <sighs> Being a grown-up just never stops, does it? <laughs> but, um... I do miss you, though. You were a constant in my life for so long, and I hate that we grew apart. No, I know, I know, I know it happens, and it's, it's no one's fault, really. I just, I don't know, I still wish it didn't happen. <laughs> oh my god, I love this song. Do you want to dance with me? Yes, I'm serious. Come on, come dance with me. Please. I'll give you extra marshmallows in your next cup of cocoa. <laughs> yes, I knew I could still bribe you with marshmallows. <laughs> come on, give me your hand. Up, off the couch we go. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, stand in front of me and just, yep, your hands go here and mine go here and yep, <laughs> yeah, just like that. So we need to be a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, just come, okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm going to step forward and you're going to step back and ow, <laughs> it's okay. That's why I have two feet. Let's try this again. 
for her. And then just follow me. Yep, there you go. <laughs> now we're dancing. Look at that. <laughs> You're a fast learner. Oh, please. You're doing a great job. <sighs> you know, it might be because we're slow dancing to a Christmas song or because you're very, very close to me. Or I might just be a little buzzed from spiking the cocoa. <laughs> but, um, you're really cute. <laughs> I mean, I always thought you were cute, but I was just too chicken shit to say anything, especially as teenagers. God. Wait, really? You've always thought I was cute too? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, we might be idiots. <laughs> oh my god. How has it taken us this long to figure this out? <laughs> so, are you seeing anybody? Okay, look, I'm only asking because I don't need somebody finding out I'm slow dancing with their partner behind their back, and you are very, very close right now, and, and, uh, wow, what was that for? Look up? What do you mean? Uh, oh, mistletoe. <laughs> Um, did you know that was there this whole time? Of course you did. This is your parents' house, after all. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just... Yep, uh, flustered is probably a good way to describe it. <laughs> it's just... I always liked you. But I never wanted to ruin our friendship. And now, here we are, all these years later, standing under the mistletoe in your childhood home, and... And I... Okay, you can't keep doing that. <laughs> what do you mean, what? I mean the kissing me in the middle of a sentence. We're turning into a walking cliche here. <laughs> There's twinkling lights, soft Christmas music, mistletoe. Please tell me we're not in some romantic Christmas movie right now. Well, no, I'm not complaining. I just... <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm fine with the kissing under the mistletoe. I just... If we hadn't hung out tonight, would you have told me that you still liked me all this time later? <laughs> Christmas just made you bolder, huh? You don't lie at Christmas, or whatever. How dare you throw my words back at me? I ought to tell Santa to put coal in your stocking for being such an ass. <laughs> can, um, can I kiss you again? You've kissed me twice now, so I think it's time I paid up. Yeah? Okay, come here. Mm. You know, I don't have any plans for New Year's. How about you? You up for drinking cheap beer in an abandoned old house? <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's settled then. <laughs> hey, by the way, Merry Christmas. 